For Moab 2023, one of our most favorite uh, categories we like to do are the resto mods. This year, uh, we've selected, it's a 1978 Jeep Cherokee, uh, but with a lot of modifications to it, soaked in this sort of 70s uh, wrapper. Uh, to begin with, the, the vehicle, we bought it off of Craigslist somewhere, uh, scanned it, and put it, made a digital model of it. This is actually placed on to complete onto a brand new Rubicon 4xE chassis. So it's the two liter of the 4xE system. Uh, 37 inch tire on an old school slotted mag. Uh, the charge port is, is neatly integrated into it to charge the batteries. The whole uh, instrument panel and front seating compartment is, is from the, the donor Wrangler. We've left the back seat out, put the spare tire in here, opened up the sides of it for fresh air. Just really a lot of great details on this vehicle. The, the overall impression we're really happy with. This happens to be the JPP product showcase car. This is called the Departure, and it has a lot of really great features. Some of them are prototype, uh, some of them are available now, so it's sort of a mix, and we use the uh, Moab to, uh, to show this off. First up front is this uh, bumper bench, so this grill guard flips down, you can sit on that. Um, prototype fender flares, these are a flat style fender flare, 37 inch tire. Looks great color scheme on this vehicle, including this beautiful saddle leather interior. Uh, tube doors, lighting, extra storage to it. And on the back of the, the vehicle shows a really cool concept idea. We put it together here, and it's where the name Departure comes from, honestly. 37 inch tire shown on this prototype gate, stored on the inside, and then through a pivoting me mechanism can be pulled to the outside of the vehicle and you gain the interior space back. Cool idea. Uh, another one of our concepts this year, we've, we've done a Wagoneer. Wagoneer, uh, being part of the Jeep family, of course, has great off-road credibility to it. And we wanted to amp that up and turn this into really a luxurious overlanding vehicle. Started on the front, we uh, added a winch for self-recovery to it. Uh, these lamps are notable that they're actually a uh, laser-powered lamp. Power for this vehicle is the new 3-liter Hurricane uh, HO motor which is uh, going to be more than enough to move it around. The, for uh, off-road ability, we added a 35-inch tire, a uh, larger tire to get us over more obstacles, and we did that by raising the wheel opening through here. The interior is notable. It's got uh, a really great warm sort of a cabin plaid to it. Uh, really nicely dresses up the cockpit. And then be behind the front seats, we took everything out. So now it's just a big wide open space back here. Notably, uh, this also features the new uh, red tail overland sort of Skyloft uh, roof camping system. Really a premium piece for a premium sort of an off-road uh, vehicle. Now I'll sh show you how that works. This is a hard-sided piece uh, with glass windows, or rather transparent windows. Open this back here. Deploys really quickly. So this is all battery powered, has a solar panel on the roof, and then it has heating, air conditioning, lighting, uh, connectivity to it, a full six foot long mattress into it, and it's really premium materials inside of this. 2023, this is the third and final iteration of our ongoing Magneto project, where we created a, a fully battery electric, fully mission capable Wrangler. For this year, we've added a lot more to the powertrain, but I'll walk you around the, uh, the exterior first. Starting up front, we've got our, our uh, Rubicon 20th grille on here. Uh, the hood, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber fenders, leaving it up on 40 inch tires, which we introduced last year, also when we extended the wheelbase. But then this year we've uh, raked the windshield back, effectively chopped the top, created a new uh, uh, roof for it with this great blue see-through on it, reupholstered the interior, updated the color scheme on the outside, and really gives it this aggressive, cool off-road look to it. Third and final iteration of Magneto functionally is still a fully battery electric vehicle connected to a six-speed manual transmission. 
New for 23 has a more efficient axial flux motor. We have 20% more range, increased torque now from 850 last year, we're up to 900 foot-pound torque. Also a 20% increase in usable energy from the batteries. We've also added selectable drive modes, the first being a uh, regen, so off or medium, more for street driving, and then a separate aggressive uh, regenerative mode in four-wheel drive low only, which offers one pedal driving. Imagine going down a very, very steep hill and having to throttle to go down the hill without the brakes. And then a two-stage selectable power output. So baseline 285 horsepower, uh, which matches the, uh, the gas V6 this vehicle was originally equipped with, or the electric full beams 900 foot-pounds torque. So this project actually starts out with a little bit of a story. 2021, we released a very special color for Wrangler. It was Tuscadero Pink. And that vehicle, we had anticipated it would do about 5,000 units. And we've been asked over and over for a follow-up. That's what this project is. Uh, this is a, a really special color, a follow-up that we're looking at. And then the vehicle it's applied to, pretty special vehicle, it's a 4xE Rubicon. Uh, we've sprinkled a few pieces on it from, from AEV, uh, their front bumper with a shorter hoop, the worn winch lighting down below. Uh, the tire is a 37-inch tire on an AEV beadlock wheel. Then moving down the side, it's one of my favorite combinations. It's the half doors with the one-touch power top. It just opens the vehicle up so nicely. Uh, and then you can easily close it back down. One other great feature of this, it has the AccuAir uh, full air suspension on it. This is a new product and we're using it on, uh, on this vehicle as well. It has about a five and a half inch range to it. I'll just punch the button here. Air down. Next up, really cool project. This we're calling the Scrambler 392. It's based off of a uh, 392 Wrangler. Of course, those are all four-door. We turned this into a two-door. Left the wheelbase the same, 40-inch tires. Uh, light weighted the vehicle by taking off a lot of the, the pieces we didn't need. Carbon fiber hood, fenders, the whole quarter panel. This also features AccuAir's new air suspension. I'll demonstrate. Has about five inches of travel or movement to it up and down. And then the, the back of the vehicle, which is sort of a truck style, uh, in fact, we used the last 10 inches of a uh, Gladiator pickup to create the back, including the tailgate. 392 Scrambler. Another one of our entries for uh, Moab this year is a Gladiator that we've uh, been put together by our friends at JPP. Uh, features a lot of cool things. Uh, first, this, this bumper seat on the front. So it's a grill guard, folds down to become a seat on the front. Uh, metal bumper, Rubicon bumper with a worn winch in it. The vehicle features a lift from JPP, 37 inch tire on a unique wheel. This also uh, being a Gladiator, but with the half doors on it and then the, the hard top, I think it's just a really great, great look to it. Uh, side rock rails from the, for the vehicle. Lights on the roof, a unique sport bar arrangement back here with storage up on top, and then this cargo bed, which is a, a very utilitarian, but a concept piece on it. Features uh, some, some great styling to it, open through the, the sides, Rotopax mount here, and even the tailgate has been reconstructed in this, this great uh, industrial feel to it. Spare tire has been relocated from under the vehicle uh, up into the bed. Really a great piece.